finally here, the first game of the regular season, and I can't think of a better way to kick it all off than the Crosstown Showdown. The Broken Arrow Tigers taking on the Owasso Rams is what proves to be an exciting 6A matchup. Coleman Key, who started his high school career with Owasso, will be under center for the Tigers, who are hoping to impress in their home opener here in Broken Arrow. On the opening drive, Owasso quarterback Gabe Neff rolls to his right, taking off and picking up the first down before getting brought down by the Tigers. A few plays later, Nathan Prentice takes it up the middle, hurtling over a defender and taking it down to the Broken Arrow 12. Next play, Neff turns it on again, powering down to the two and eventually sneaking it into the end zone for the first score of the night. Coleman Key and the Tigers offense turn with a quick strike out to Devin Thomas for a big gain up the right side to the Owasso 10. The Rams would hold on this drive though thanks to playmakers like number 32 Colton Garris blowing up his block and taking down Thomas in the backfield. The Tigers would be held to a field goal making it Owasso 7, Broken Arrow 3. Next drive, and Neff keeps it again, but check out this block by number 84, Addison Sunday, absolutely lighting up a Tiger defender. Broken Arrow gets their revenge, though, as number 42, Alex Bradley, takes down Neff for a loss of eight and forcing the Rams to punt it away. Tigers ball, and Colby Key hands it off to Devin Thomas, who runs all over the Owasso defense, taking it up the sidelines to the Owasso 12. Broken Arrow would have to settle for a field goal though, closing the gap with the Rams to within one. That wouldn't last long though, as the Tigers get the ball back on the kickoff due to a bobbled catch from the Rams return team. Back on offense, and Coleman Key threads a bullet pass to number three, Trey Talley, which is well defended by free safety Josh Kinzer. A few plays later and Key would connect with Tally again who brings it in for the first Ram TD of the night. The extra point puts Broken Arrow up 13-7 over Owasso with 6.20 left to go in the half. Later in the second, B.A. back on offense and Coleman Key is picked off across the middle by Owasso cornerback Tyler Lindsay. Broken Arrow secondary held Owasso to only 49 passing yards all game due to playmakers like Damian Howard batting down passes and largely keeping the Rams out of the end zone. Rams settle for a field goal, making it Broken Arrow 13, Owasso 10 at the half. Tigers kick off the second half with Coleman Key connecting on the outside for a first down, followed by another one to number 80, Brandon Pettit, inside the 10, allowing number 9, Alex Lewis, to take it in for the score. Broken Arrow starts to run away with it, going up 20-10 over Owasso. BA special teams were dominant, forcing yet another fumble on the kickoff after the score. Owasso's secondary kept this game competitive though, nearly picking off Key in the end zone and forcing the Tigers to a field goal. Gabe Neff, determined to get Owasso back in the game, connects with Cameron Oliver over the middle for a big gain before taking off himself, contributing to the Rams 121 rushing yards on the night. Last play before the end of the third, and it's all Jamal Shaw breaking tackles and dancing to the outside for a 20-yard gain for the Tigers. Fourth quarter and Key hits Alex Lewis again in the end zone from nine yards out on the duo's second score of the night, putting the Tigers up 30 to 10 over the Rams. Key passed for 158 yards on the night, hitting Shaw for 15 here. But it was Devin Thomas who would have a record game, becoming the all-time career rushing leader for Broken Arrow with 175 yards and this 10-yard touchdown on the night. The Rams would get their final score of the night on a stroke of luck as running back Nathan Prentice fumbles on the three-yard line. The ball pops out of the ensuing power where it's then recovered in the end zone by number 16, Johnny Prentice. The extra point is no good though as the Tigers lead 37-16 with 3.30 left in the game. 
The Tigers seal this one at home, though, when a fumbled snap is recovered by defensive lineman number 99, Deshante Hawkins, and Broken Arrow is able to run out the clock. Played very well. Uh, you know, you, you, we just played a great program, and uh, kids played well. I mean, they came out the second half, had some good, good adjustments, and uh, uh, played very well. I mean, we just got to keep working to improve because that's what, you know, it is. It's just a process. So, you know, we have to go on the film and figure out what we, were, what we did wrong and fix them and try to get ourselves improved. And he just broke the all-time school record, rushing record. You know, so I think he did a great job. Rushed for about 170 yards, uh, played very well. You know, um, just couldn't do it without my linemen. I mean, they were, block they were blocking like crazy tonight. And, uh, I'm just happy I got to win behind them. I'm just happy we get we get we get, we get to go into Bentonville with some momentum, and uh, it was a good way to start off the season. You know, getting up in the 30s, just love it. It's awesome with Coleman because like they can't just they can't just beat on me because he can drop he can drop he can be dropping dimes at any time. Oh yeah, my Coleman's doing fat. He's doing fat back there. Uh, you know, we're just gonna we're just gonna take it play by play. The most important week is the very next week, and we're gonna we're gonna go far with our brotherhood this year.